This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Four people are now accused of intimidating witnesses in Bradley Wicks's homicide. Wicks was dropped off at McLaren Greater Lansing Hospital on March 30th after he was shot several times. Devin Baldwin and Gary Lee Dexter are charged with the murder. Now Dexter and three others are accused of harassing a witness. Court records show Dexter called Jennifer Alleman from the Ingham County Jail May 3rd and 4th, talking about a letter he mailed a witness. Detectives testified Dexter told Alleman to burn the letter since it could be traced back to him. The witness then texted the letter to detectives. Records state that the witness also wrote detectives explaining Alleman and Lisa Burgess were trying to get him to change his statement about the shooting. The letter states that he was threatened by Alleman, Burgess, and others, forcing him to leave the area. Detectives also told the court another witness said Alleman and Burgess went to her house trying to get her to change her statement. Another woman, Christina Burnett, is charged with tampering with evidence. Alleman, Burgess, and Burnett are out on bond. Dexter and Baldwin are still locked up in the Ingham County Jail. Alleman, Burgess, and Dexter are scheduled to next appear in court on July 30th. Graduating high school senior Tegan Byers says that she's moving forward with her plans to have a graduation party. It's an effort to make the best of the situation. We're going to have individually wrapped desserts, Byers said. It's not going to be a buffet style. We're going to have people serve the food. You'll have masks and sanitizers for people that choose to wear it. We're going to have temperatures taken upon arrival. If anyone has a temperature, they will have to go, unfortunately. Byers said that her party will be held at her house, but it will be held outside. She has a three-car garage and plenty of room for people to social distance. Byers said she's even going to have guests wear wristbands that are color-coded to show how comfortable they are with close conversation and touching. Byers said that she also is going to have guests sign in, and if a guest later tests positives for the virus, Byers will know who to notify based on who signed in. While Byers may be having her party, other families are not. Scott Awad, co-owner of ETR Party Rentals, said he had a few cancellations for graduation parties. He says he makes 25% of his yearly business in June. However, he said it's grad party season and a lot of people have canceled their parties. Despite the slower business, Awad said he and his employees are taking every precaution He said that when they are dropping off rental equipment to a home or venue, one person is allowed in the vicinity and must be wearing a mask. Customers can make a no-contact pickup rental equipment from the store. Payments and signing the contracts are done electronically, and everyone must be wearing a mask. More pets are reported missing during holidays where fireworks are present, the Michigan Humane Society says. MHS says to, to do the following for your pets during the 4th of July. Microchip your pet in case they become lost. Make sure any doors or windows in your home are shut. Your pets can become extremely distressed by the loud noises of fireworks, and they may make it a run for it. Give your pet a safe space to retreat. Grab your dog's favorite toy and a few blankets and let him wait out the fireworks in a secluded, quiet space. Fireworks too loud? Try putting on music or turning the TV up to drown them out. Divert their attention. Try giving your pet a new bone or chew toy to distract them from fireworks booming outside. Talk with your vet to see if your pet might benefit from alternative options to reduce stress. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News created Rebound MidMichigan. Everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can help in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything that you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't recognize their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV has created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to share a video shout out or upload a photo of a deserving graduate that deserves recognition. 
So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today and let MidMichigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.